Good evening, ladies and gallbladders. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We've returned to the Sapsa spawning grounds after our little trip to Gold Saucer uh, to deal with our duty as a warrior of light and the uh, rampaging Leviathan who seems to be on the loose. So we're just going to carry on talking to the Admiral and see where this leads us. Understand I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than aught seen in nature. Enough to raise entire coastal settlements if his last attempt is any guide. We cannot suffer history to be repeated, yet how in the seven hells are we to prevent it? Excellent question. Nope. We don't need any of that. Though our plight cries out for action, we must take thought. So long as Leviathan remains in the open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none, of that you may be sure. But Limlane herself would struggle to best the Lord of the Wall in his elements. In a straight fight, he would make meet and match one of us. We need another plan. That much is plain. Let's return to Limsa and see if we can see if we cannot think of one. I shall await you in the command room. And off they all wandered. Well, back stereo, I'm on. It's time to go back to Limsa. Fly me there, would you? There's a good chap. Try not to teleport as much. Slowly building up my reserve of gill again. Uh, but it's taking a jolly good time. I remember fondly having close to a million <laughs> and then wasting it all on really pointless stuff now that I think about it. But never mind. Gil comes and goes. Experience is everlasting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see, we can take the ship, which I think costs us money. We'll find out though. Very skipper. Uh, let me see. That'll go and then it's 40 gil. I'm not going to turn my nose up at 40 gil. It's worth it for the sheer convenience. Uh, the command deck is on the upper levels. I am in the wrong place. Yeah, for some reason, there's a Halloween event going on. I've got the... I did the event, and I've got the costume. Um, plus a few wall decorations. I don't know if I've still got them. Yeah, pumpkin flower days and a haunted pumpkin set. Um, I don't think I've actually got the... No, I don't. There is a clown's outfit. Uh, I must have put it in my, whatchamacallit, wardrobe in my inn room. I need to look at getting my own house. But I don't think I can do that until I'm a hell of a lot more affluent. What's this all about? Deliver a challenge. Right, we'll deal with that later on. At the moment, we need to head to the band deck. Stop gallivanting around. Lollygagging. No lollygagging. Do, do, do. Um, that way. Oh. I could have sworn you weren't there a second ago. You're expected in the command room. Yep. <clears throat> 
西ラノシアの南北防波壁の先あの辺りは以前ハーフストーンと呼ばれ小さな離職地が存在していた国家団が設立される数年前バンシン・リバイアさんが召喚されたことがあったその時は海遊旅団が討伐に成功したのだ零細直後に再召喚された際には万神の放った大海嘯の影響でその入植地は全滅土は剥ぎ取られ岩だらけの不毛の土地と化したそれが今のサプサ産卵地と呼ばれている場所そうだサハ銀族は地形を作り変え大規模な産卵地を作り変えて。Um, And、uh, I had to restrain myself from jumping to their defense. <laughs> It's never a good idea to draw that kind of open militant defense against people just randomly chatting. You're like, hey, no, I disagree. Sorry. Sorry. リムサロミンサ全体が海に沈められかねない。なんとしても、バンシン・リバイアさんを討伐しなくてはならない。しかし、メルイブ提督、どう対処します<笑>海はリバイアさんの独断場だ。第三艦隊の船だって、近づく前に沈められたというではないですか。加えて砲撃も着弾前に撃ち落とされ効果がないとの報告も受けているな唯一の討伐事例では入江におびき寄せて戦ったというわとなると元海遊旅団の人たちに話を聞いても有益な情報は得られないでしょうねテイトク行ってみろエインザル対抗所帰還した生存艦からの報告によれば万神リバイアさんからの攻撃は水人の名のごとく大波つまり水を操ったものだと言いますならばその莫大な水属性の力を他の属性に変換して衝撃を和らげればいいクリスタルを用いた属性変換機構魔法障壁発動機を船に乗せて身を守るってわけですな Why Marshall? You're a genius! バンシンガルーダの暴風の壁を突破した時と同じ手法を取るというわけね He did アルフィナまあ古い知人の裏イボーな破術師からの入れ知恵だがななるほど。確かに同じ機構を作るのであれば、シドでなくてもナルディコアンドビメリー社で作ることができるだろう。ただし、あくまで対防御の策であった、バンシンガルーダの時とは状況が異なる。I remember reading a while back that there was an American warship armed with、um, laser weaponry of some description, and it was auspiciously named the USS Ponce, which I、uh, It really did tickle me. Banshin got all got a sense of she's a meritamani, Kurida so on. So they were hink and skill it a many hits you know, Henzok say Crystal no Lyoto Naruto. So the Serena. So they that came back to die Nario no Crystal or Tunde. Matomoni Coco canona all got a senado. Coca dani monaizo. If we don't, we shall build one. かつてリムサロミンサで勢力を誇った海賊のキリヒゲは奪った大量の財宝を運ぶために2隻の配線をつなぎ合わせた総動線を作ったといいます残った軍艦をつないで総動線を再現大型の属性変換機構を積載すればあるいは
さすがに詳しいな。エインザル対抗手。ともかく戦艦で急増の総動線を経由に目標の目前で切り離し、万神リバイアさんにぶつける。奴に取り付くことさえできれば勝機はあるはずです。オッケー。無論発案者であるからには危険な牽引線の指揮は自分が取らせてもらいますよ。お前たちそうだな。その作戦しかあるまい。Overwhelming odds. Slim chance of success. What are we waiting for? So da. Ikiteiru kan o yusen shite maasu. Shuri wa ato ni maashite kamawan. Einzaru Srafil shin taikou shou. Hon sakusen no shiki o omae ni makaseru. Shikiu soudou sen no seizou ni kakaru. Hold on. Get to it. Ooh, what was that sly smile all about? Ibusaro Minsa no mirai wa kikou ni kakat teiru. Tanonda zo. Hikari no senshi yo. We have very strong shoulders, Admiral. Don't you worry, your gorgeous face. Um. Anyway. Beings held as gods also exist in what you call the Far East. Legends tell us that they walked among us in days of yore. But I confess that I never truly believed in them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I've come face to face with the primal, I do begin to understand why the Galleons fear them. Fear them so. What the hell is that? What is it? A message, Admiral. Judged it best that it be delivered at once. I am listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. Absolute codswallop. One of the company of heroes. The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. We'll drag him here. Let's have a word. I'm disinclined to put any store by this claim. And even should it be true... It is a Ishtola, I can't pronounce words today. None save the company of heroes of Bested Leviathan. We know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we do not know already? And yet, having wagered Limsa's survival on two ships, some rope and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? His testimony could yield us any manner of advantage should we not hear it. Damn it all. Twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on this supposed primal slayer's claims. Geico will seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. The man you're looking for is believed to be a resident of the Grey Fleet in Lower, Lower, Lower Lenoskia. The Storm Private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. May your journey be full of apples. Come along. People to question, places to be. Ooh, the sage's path. Hang on, does that mean... 
I wonder if that means that the next um, summoner missions are open. Right, where are we going? The Grey Fleet. Where's the Grey Fleet? It is in Eastern Lanoski. Is it? No, it's in Lower Lanoski. Where are you trying to send me? Also, I got some uh, llama prisms out so I could change my outfit. We will probably do that this episode because I know exactly what I want to change it to. But I'm actually missing one key component. I'm missing the pants. Uh, I might have to mix and match. Or just wear no pants, you know. Live Baxterionamon. Oh, I got him a new hat as well. With goggles, because he now is a flying chocobo. And I want to protect his eyes. Not that he actually wears them. It'd be cool if when he when he flies, the goggles came down over his face. But they don't. Never mind. I like dramatic flying swooping and it's good if you do like I was going to say do a barrel roll do a barrel roll doesn't work like that we haven't gained any experience of note in quite a long time um, because I've just been doing little bits and pieces. I was having this discussion with uh, with my brother today about um, playing a, a, an MMO and also sort of doing it as a recording. If you're doing the sort of recording in one to two hour bursts, it puts a certain limit on progress. Because I could, I could just go and sail through a load of this game and then come back and say, okay, I've done a lot of quests and I've leveled up and this is where I am. And that would be fine. Um, but the way I've chosen to do this is more of kind of like a diary of, of Geico Kujin. It's his, you know, these are the voyages of the starship Geico Kujin. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm loath to stop doing what I've already started doing. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, I've completely gone the wrong way. No, oh, well, that gives me more time to talk about what I was talking about. Um, yeah, I don't really want to stop doing this series the way that I've started doing it because I am enjoying it. But there's a little part of me that's frustrated about the fact that I'm not pushing through quicker. When really there's no rush. I don't know what I'm in, in, what I'm in any mad rush to do. You know, it's, it's not stopping me doing anything else that I want to do in the meantime. I'm still recording other series as well as this. Uh, maybe it'll change in the future. Um, but I think... I think the time to power through things has basically gone. That would have been like the earlier quests, the ones that right at the start of A Realm Reborn. Um, and given where I am now, with, you know, the Heaven's Ward quests coming up and and then Shadowbringers and eventually Endwalker, uh, that'll all be stuff that I've never done before. So I really will want to, you know, make the most out of those recordings. So hey, that's just what's going on in my head at the moment. Probably not very interesting, but there we go. Swing your legs.
So Still haven't done that fishing mission. I've no idea where to catch these things, what they even are, without looking at a wiki or a, you know, some sort of guide. Um, it probably will come down to that eventually. I'm not overly fussed on leveling my fishing more than it is at the moment. Oh, it's this guy. I think I know who we're going to speak to. Yep. It's you again. Now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grain over to the mill. But sir... That's what you said before you had me pick those origins for you, orig, origins? oranges for you and before I mucked out the chocobo stables and before I rolled that millstone over to the mill and also before... Put some pants on, man. God, man, I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days. Do you hear me complaining? Bah. I suppose some of us just ain't made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right. I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old track tomb into generous soul. Now prick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting, you can. Ahem. The tale of track tomb's epic victory over the dread primal Leviabetus. Now, Leviabetus is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea of how big, each of his scales is about as wide across as me members long. And that ain't no mean feat, let me tell you. <clears throat> when I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth, at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of my hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. But what happened next? I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots. Not wanting to take the glory for myself, I let me mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhap too modest. Now, there's some says you can never truly beat Leviabetus. <laughs> it just reminds me of that guy who says diabetes. Anyway. Uh, learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Hi again. <laughs> it's you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention is all. I take it back. Everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dung. I have to light women to tumble them, and that don't happen much. My member's tiny. It's pathetic. That, I think I mentioned that when we first bumped into this guy. Watch a film called True Lies. And I think, I think Bill Paxton's in it, and he plays a guy who's pretending to be a secret agent. And when Arnie and... Um, the other guy, I can't remember his name now. When they confront him, that's basically the speech he gives. It's friggin' hilarious. And I sure as hell didn't fight Leviabetus, but, but I have seen him with my own eyes. It was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I'm sure, give me duties one day, loitering about the harbour, and I saw him. Great big massive sea serpent come malms off the coast. Some malms off the coast. With a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing. <clears throat> so bloody scared I saw myself right there and then. Lovely. I've just noticed the tattoo he's got on his face as well. Uh, oh god, just remembering that day made me saw myself all over again. Oh, for god's sake, man. He's out with that patches at the back. Anyway, if you're asking after Leviabetus, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up like you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dry throat today. Why, you worthless lying whore, son. Can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. Oh dear. Don't worry, I fell for it as well. 
and I'm a hero of light. Geico, this has been Philia. Were you able to earn were you able to learn aught of use against Leviathan? I beg your pardon? Leviathan beat us? I see. That's unfortunate. <laughs> at any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at Moraby Dry Docks. Pray make your way here as soon as you are able. Aye aye, Captain. You can we knock him? Nope, can't knock him. Um, disgust. Oh, no, no, disgust. And you sneer. There we go. I like the way my character didn't even actually move at all. His face probably moved. Uh, right, anyway. To Moraby Dry Docks. Ah, the realm. It's such a pleasant place to be. Especially by the seaside. the dry docks. What is that out there? Surprise! I'm here. I'm told you jumped to the Grey Fleet fruit, uh, proved fruitless. My sympathy had no apples for us. My sympathies, lad. I'll wager it served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. I thought that said the whore eater then. <laughs> the twin vessel, the wall eater, I call her, is complete, and she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her prodigious tonnage, tonsage, she's been fitted with a platform that you and yours might manoeuvre freely in battle. I would mention that also mention also that she is nigh unsinkable. I'm not one to tempt fate. The wall eater and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word and we shall bear you to Leviathan. Bear me hence. Hmm. Ah, I know that look. You are ready. Having been constructed in some haste, the wall eater may not be pretty, but I can assure you she's capable. She has been fitted with what our friends at Naldik and Vimelis are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, it will use the power of the corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his hold over water. Uh, depending on how the battle unfolds, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. Okay. It is expected that the Sahagin and their thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defence. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Thankrud and Ishtola, I would have you assist in this effort. It is to fulfil... If it is to fulfil its purpose, your diversionary force must not want for numbers. By your leave, I too would volunteer my blade. You are actually quite eager to please, aren't you? We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsa, I dare say the fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting. Thancred and Ishtola, if you would join the third levy, and Lady Yugiri, the fifth. Uh, but what words have I for the man who has made a sport of slaying gods? Only these, go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. Beautiful. I would echo the Admiral's sentiments and add a few words of mine own. Know that we all have the utmost faith in you, Geico. May the crystal bless and keep you. I liked hers better. Oh, okay. It's a duty. Uh, where is it? Is it that one? Yeah, there it is. Join. Oop. Join. 
Right. I will be back when we have jumped to the front of the queue. Right then. Let's do this. Um, I don't know how hard... Well, it says hard difficulty, so it's going to be hard. Um, how hard? I don't know. Oh, somebody said, oh boy. So... <laughs> the cannon those in the front row may get wet yeah I I think I, I must have done this one before because I do remember it being quite cool, but I don't really remember it. <laughs> okay. No, you can salute as well. You're part of the maelstrom. Give the proper salute. Okay, I'm going to skip the cutscene because people have mentioned they don't like it. So. Oh, right, it's one of these. So as I said, I did the, um, I did the Ultima's Bane one, the Bard's mission, and that was one of these ones where if we die, basically respawns us and we get benefits to, I don't know. Also, this is very loud and I can't hear myself. So I apologise if I'm shouting. Turn my volume down on my headset a little bit. <laughs> Try again.
I guess we have to be in this thing. Like literally right up against it. <laughs> You're the only one left, so you get the commendation. <laughs> cool. That wasn't so difficult once we got our uh, stuff together, our act together. Back to report to the Admiral. Is it? Oh, okay, we've got to go back to Limsa. Oh, yeah, also, um, while we were waiting, I did some Beast Tribe missions. So I'm just going to quickly pop back to Aleport. Not Aleport. Um, you know where it is, near the Sapsa spawning grounds. Uh, well, yes, it does go to Whaleport first. I was right the first time. I should trust myself more. I know what I'm talking about. Occasionally. Sometimes. I'd say like 35% of the time. <laughs> I keep forgetting as well when you when you get your flying mount, you can basically just go as the crow flies. And I'm always doing this sort of like following the land. I think it's like I said before, I like doing dramatic flying. I have missions turning. We get to choose one of these. Piety, Battle Dance. Uh, one's best for us. That's best. Ah. Anyway, I just need to check something. Uh, I wrote all this down before. So it's critical, direct hit, spell speed, and determination. Sorry, I actually had that written down um, because I kept forgetting what were the most important. So can we buy anything with the... Oh, not that. Uh... So we've got three of them. What's good? Hmm. I mean, nothing really. It's all a bit crap. Oh, mind you, that's. Oh, that's all we can buy, just ingredients. And. A hanging larder and a living lamp. Well, why not? For when we do eventually get around to, get around to decorating the house that we haven't bought yet. <laughs> How much is a house? I have no idea.
Uh, yeah, and we'll take the ferry back to Limsilaminsa. We might no. We need another over another hundred thousand experience to level up. So there's no way this quest will give us that much. Well, Limsa, good man. Thank you all. And we shall return. To the Admiral. The love of my life. She who I shall one day marry. Uh, if only an aura warrior of light and a maelstrom admiral. Like Romeo and Juliet all over again. You know, a lot of people forget that that's actually a tragedy, not a romance. Um, right. It's you I need to speak to. You probably were there. You were probably hidden by that last time I looked. Uh, yeah. What? Hang on. What did you say? Knowing the urgency of your business, I thought it best to refrain from making conversation during your past few visits, but today I will permit myself a few words. Ahem. I feel truly privileged to have had the honour of admitting a hero such as you. For an inspiration to us all, sir. And on that note, the Admiral will wait you in the command room. Wink. Hello, crew.万神リヴァイアさんの討伐ご苦労だった。気候のおかげで大海省を水に防ぐことができたぞ。万神タイタンに引き続きまたも助けられたな。全く大したものだよ。冒険者にしておくのは惜しいくらいだ。リムサロミ
そこに伝わる戦い方に君の技は似ているのさうまく融合できれば新しい戦闘術になるかもしれない貴殿の戦いぶり私も共通点を感じていたのだなるほど面白い戦闘術になるかもしれないなしかしそれはだなえいろいろと理由があるんだよ<笑><笑> OK What is happening here? 実はねサンクレットは昔この町でコソドロをやっていたのよその時のつながりでどうしてもらえんがあるってわけ that's, that's for him to tell her if he wants to、ま、待てヤシトラねえその後死であるルイゾワ様に拾われて無事に更生コソドロから足を洗ってウルダハで剣術を身につけたのね。He is in the room. ああ、ミンフィリアまで。<笑>本性を隠していたってわけか。面白い男だな、サンクレット殿は。I think she fancies him. Kikeba Kiko at Toho Kara Eorzea in Nogare de Kitarasina. Ima Revenant Store no Kaitakudan ni Kuawa Tiru Toka Limusaro Minsa was Samazama na Munda Yokakae Kikora or Uke Rukoto a Dekina Jotaida. Shikashi Bushi or Kurukoto a Dekir. We'll、send you some fish and some blankets made of fish and beer made of fish. Thank you very much, Melviv. I'm going to be a little bit of time, but I'm going to be able to show you the same thing. I'm going to be able to show you the same thing. Teach them all Kung Fu in exchange for fish. Right. ああ、よっ。今回の件またあの時と同じね。コボルト族もサハギン族もバンシンを召喚したのはバイルブランド島を巡り人と争うからよ。自分今回はサハギン族がリムサロミンスの民から領土を奪おうとした。だけど問題の本質はどちらも同じだわ。These things end as they usually always do in war。分かっているとも。万神問題は人が引き起こしている問題でもあろう。お前の言う通り、奴らは産卵地を得るという目的のため、まさに生きるために戦い、土地を得ようとしている。しかし人もまた生き残るために精一杯なのだコボルド族とサハギン族のどちらに負けるわけにもいかん生き残るために殺し合う生きることが正義というなら全てのために正義はあるならばこれを主がと言われればそれまでかもしれんだが今はそれが正義と信じるしかないなにがただしいのかわからないのならじぶんたちのせいぎをしんじればいいいえしんじるしかないのね。自分たちの行いこそが正義と信じる人は世界中どこでも同じなのだな
人は自分の行いに意味を持たねば生きていくことはできないそういう観点では帝国もドマも同じかもしれないな今やエオルゼアは混沌の稼働その中心だだからこそ人は荒れ狂う波間の中で航路を開くために争うあの自分が生きていくための行い自分の居場所を見つけるための争い自分を存在させるための正義Dire words. Dire words indeed. Right, what's next? I'm also going to bring up the map of Gridania. Is it Gridania? Um, and check out uh, Gridania. Where's the waterfall? It's there, isn't it? Yeah, that's where. That's where the summoner missions should show up, so nothing's there at the moment. Level 90 weapon coffer. What have I got? I think uh, it's higher than that. Yeah, 130. Uh, the Admiral has informed me of the arrangement. I have in my keeping a letter of introduction for Lady Yugiri. To the south stands a gate leading to a pier for smaller fishing vessels. Look for an inconspicuous Huron man there. And present the letter to him. He serves as gatekeeper of sorts. Now before you go, I'm obliged to remind you that the members of the ahem, fraternity to which you would like to be introduced abide in the shadows of Lamington society. They value their independence more highly than pirates and are, un and are united by a bond stronger than Mithril. To wit. To wit. They are invariably wary of new faces. Though it be penned by the Admiral herself, mere words on parchment will get you only so far in their confidence. You must work for every ounce of trust they place in you. Here is the letter. Go to the aforementioned place and show it to the aforementioned man. Oh, and good luck. Um, okay. What is it exactly I'm doing? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, let's check on my... Oh, no, neither venture will be finished yet because they're on the 18-hour ones. I guess um, it's the Guild of Thieves or the, the Rogues Guild or whatever they're called. These guys down here. Oh no, it's not. It's him. Oh yeah. Hmm? Got business with me, with me, Venturer? I do. So you're the man the Admiral sent word of. I was hoping I might catch a glimpse of Thancred too. It's been a while since I saw his shite eating grin. <laughs> what with all the door eyed wenches about, I expect he's got his hands full. Ah, and you must be the Far Easterner that Melwood says wants to train with us. Welcome to Limsa, my lady. I am Yugiri of Doma. It's an honour. Is it Dorna or Doma? I think it is Doma, isn't it? Yeah, Doma. Dormans. It is an honour to make your acquaintance. I must confess, when I first learned of your organisation, I had certain preconceptions as to the nature of your membership. It would seem I was mistaken. 
You're not the first person to say that, lass. Lips is the city of pirates, to be sure. Pirates don't give two farts about keeping a spotless reputation. They hardly need a secret society to do their dirty work. Might be as my people and I keep to the shadows, but we've got nothing to be ashamed of. It's simply better for business that we remain unseen. And so you have developed fighting techniques suited to this purpose. I see. I know that the practitioners of my art too are denizens of shadow. It is in stealth that our strength lies. There is much we might learn from one another, I think. Then what in the seven hells are we waiting for? If you come with us, you Gary of Do what's it? And get acquainted in more private surrounds. Nah, that didn't come out right, did it? Uh no. Master Geico, I shall remain with these people for a time that I might study their ways. Though I'm loath to be separated from my from my countrymen, I take solace in the knowledge that they're in the best of hands. You've been a true friend to us, Dormans. No word no words would suffice to express my gratitude. Ere long, I hope to begin imparting my martial knowledge to the people of Eorzea. When that time comes, it would be my honour to welcome you as a student. Uh, I'm more into magic, but thanks. Um, is this the next story quest? Yeah, it is. Let's see what was in that coffer. Omnitome. Ugh. Oh my god, it blinks. That's terrifying. Okay. Much and more has occurred since first I beheld the Aussie from the galleon's deck. Suffice it to say, I did not envisage being invited to play a part in your noble struggle. <clears throat> But forgive me, I've kept you all along. That was your pressing business of your own. Rest assured that I no longer require an escort in this land. When next you meet Lady Menphilia, pray relate to her my humblest thanks that I uh, well, that I could do so in person, but I needs, must needs fulfil my promise to the Admiral. Till we meet again, Warrior of Light. Guess I've got to go back to Revenant's Tall. Yep. That's no problem. Oh, I'm all disorientated. <laughs> Have we got a uh what's its face? Is there any way that I can use a glamour? Thing in the rising storm. What's in here? Anything of use? No, it literally is just a hub. No, it's not even a hub, it's just a, an empty area. <laughs> いかしら。あなたに聞いておいてほしいことがある。リムサロミゼに行ってからずっと考えていたことがある。晩神リバイエさんが召喚される際、あの長老と思われる佐賀金属は超える力を行使した。そして超える力を受け入れたことで一時的
米祭の旅に転生して生まれ変わり困難に立ち向かう魂はあるというわ私はこの伝承にある転生する魂こそが超える力の正体なんじゃないかそんなふうに考えています今回の一件でますますその思いが強くなったわ次々と肉体を入れ替える魂だけの存在まるで任意に転生を繰り返しているようなものだものこの伝承が真実とするならば超える力の真実にもたどり着けるかもしれない、うん、超える力の能力は言葉心時間などの壁を越え相手を見ることができるというものこれまであなたが体験したように立ち塞がる精神の壁を越えることができる能力ね。ストレイでは、伝承による転生とは何なのかしら。例えばそれが、今回サハギン族が見せたような、肉体への転移を指していたとしたら。つまり、超える力の最大の能力が、肉体の壁を越え。魂だけの存在になることなのだとしたらアシエン・エルディブスが言っていた通り不死の存在となるかもしれないエリでもアシエンと同じ不滅なるものとなったはずのサハギン族は晩神リバイアさんが権限する際のエーテル消耗によって晩神に吸収されてしまったそう不滅なるものは決して不死ではないここにアシエン消滅の手がかりがあるはずよ。超える力の能力とアシエン消滅の方法。私は引き続きウリエンジェさんとこの件を追ってみます。Speak of the devil? ほら、ウリエンジェさん、ちょうどいいところに。I'm gonna guess yes, there is. 大変ですミンフィリア、うん、連絡が途絶えたバルデシオン委員会をシャーレアン本国を経由して調査していたのですが oh, yeah. Didn't they completely cut off contact or they weren't responding? 何があったの They're all dead. 委員会の本部があるバル島が海洋から完全に消滅しているとの報告がありましたそんな消滅ですってシャーレアン本国の記録によると大規模な魔法波が観測されたようですおいしおそらく古代魔法アルテマ級の魔法攻撃を受け瞬時に消滅したのではないかと<笑>では、本日の定例会合は終わるとしよう。君旦那様に指示された準備は整いましたしかしこのようなことは一体何をするおつもりなのです戦争だよおお、Someone's plotting Uh, we don't need any of these really.
Why didn't I choose the money? Anyway, uh, next. Ooh, it's getting closer to the, the stuff that we've got. 110. Our friends, the very isle itself, everyone and everything. No, no, it avails us not to speculate. Orangutan will send word if there are any developments. Until such time as he does, we must remain firmly focused on that which is within our power to change. With that in mind, I would speak of different matter, one closer to home. It concerns etheric fluctuations which had previously attributed which we had previously attributed to good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth. That the King is no more is a blessing for which we have you to thank. Yet all is not well in the Twelves Wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing etheric disturbance of considerable magnitude. They may even suggest the presence of a primal. Needless to say, the mere possibility warrants immediate investigation, and I would have you... Hello. Scylla, I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. What matter of problem? What manner of problem, sorry. A band of refugees hailing from Uldar this time come to Revenant's Toll seeking asylum. It would seem they expect us to afford them the same treatment we gave the Dormans. At present, they are in the seventh heaven awaiting a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Yeah. Asilla, you know full well we haven't the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider what will happen if you do this. Word will spread and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. Geico, I should be grateful for your presence at this meeting. Yeah, I'll chuck some spells at them if they get out of hand. Just call me Geico Crowd Control Kujin. The outside. Oh yeah, they're in the seventh heaven, aren't they? In the bar. It's a great place to leave rowdy citizens. Leave them in the bar where the booze is. Right, what's all this then? I apologise for keeping you waiting. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Twelve be praised. It is you. We're ready and willing to work, same as the Dormans. Just give us a task, and we'll see it done. Pray, calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know naught of your situation. Beg your pardon, antece antecedent. No, I, I ain't so good with words. We've been living off the scraps of old Dar for years now, trying to piece together a life to replace the one what got took. They say there's work, but there's naught for an honest man. Not as would su wouldn't sully his soul sooner than his palms, any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. And it's only getting worse. When the calamity brought us to our knees, those rich bastards in the city didn't help us up. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. The only question was where. And then it came to me. Revenant's tall. I mean, you took them foreigners in, didn't you? So surely you'd do the same for us. Ah, oh dear. I, I fear the situation is rather more complicated. While it's true that we accepted the Dorman's petition for aid, that decision was the product of, an extraordinary, of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathise deeply with your plight, but pray understand that it's not possible for an organisation of our means to aid all who've been affected by the calamity. And so it is with great regret that I must deny your request. But but we've nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us. I might have a word. Tartaru is also miss. Ill tidings from Old Hour, my lady. Alphanod has 
Alphanod has been wounded. Oh no. What? How? Is it serious? It's all going wrong at the moment. I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went wild, apparently, lashing out at any and every, any and everyone. Can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells. Now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who tries to resist. Antecedent, please, if you won't help us build a new life, at least, at least help us keep the ones we've got. My lady. We are not the ones to we are not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more of the circumstances surrounding this riot, I'm not certain what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine that refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Find Alphanord and quickly. If he's in danger, or worse, I'd have you and none other and none other by his side. Thank you. Pray do not concern yourself with the matter we were discussing earlier. Ida and Papalimo will see to it. Okay. Alphanod is being treated at the hourglass. Hurry, Geico. <clears throat> I will hurry. But not until the next episode. Uh, we're going to leave it there. And uh, next time we will go and help our... I would say our dear friend, but to be honest with you... The majority of the time, Alphanor's just really pissed me off, so he can languish in hospital for a bit longer. Um, that's really weird. It looks like Carbuncle's got a back end shaped like a mole. Um, yeah, so that's it from us for this episode, and I will see you next time. Everybody's gathered. It's all right, we're safe in the bar. Safe from the rioting peasants outside. Don't you worry. Wait, what was that the door?